If you need to copy patterns into your playlist in FL Studio, copy a pattern to make small changes, or copy a pattern for any reason at all, this is the video for you. Because I'm gonna reveal three ways you can use to copy or duplicate your patterns in FL Studio, and that will cover all your pattern duplication needs. But before we give our son our key to our secrets, before turning him into a monster and making him eat us, I've got a question for you. That question is, what's the easiest way to lay out your patterns in the playlist in FL Studio 20? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. If you don't know, don't worry, because I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video. Just stay tuned. Now let's get into it. So this is going to be really, really easy and really, really straightforward. Here is a pattern that we've just created it's not a very imaginative pattern it's one chord and in order to copy this over there are a few ways we can go about it the first way is to use shift and left click and basically drag our pattern as you can see this copies it we can also just click on the pattern and left click anywhere in our playlist if we have the paint tool selected like so so by default you'll have your paint tool selected or your pencil tool so paint or pencil it's all good next thing we can do second method is to click on the top left corner of our pattern and go to make unique this duplicates our pattern into a different pattern so now instead of being just pattern one that we've copied over a few times, we have duplicated this pattern one and changed it into pattern two. The reason why you may want to use this is so you can use some of the same elements of that pattern and make a little bit of a variation. For example, if we now don't want this to be an A chord and we want to change it to a C chord, all we have to do is that and now we've got A, C. Let's play that back. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Last way to duplicate your pattern is to go on the top left corner over here where you can see your patterns and just right click and go to clone. And this clones our pattern into another pattern. So it does the same thing as if we went to make unique, but it clones our pattern directly under our first pattern. So as you can see, we've just cloned this and this will turn the clone into pattern two. And then all the other patterns that we've already put down will now be, you know, pattern three, pattern four for unless we had already named it for example if i go here and i name this something and then i clone this clone a pattern that's not going to change it but if it's going in the numbers like pattern one pattern two pattern three pattern four then it's going to change the latter number of our patterns okay so when you clone it the pattern under it directly is the clone if you name it and then clone it this is what you get you get the same pattern name and then a two next to it so you can always differentiate very very easily what is the clone and what is your original pattern now pattern duplication is great but that's one of the basic elements you need to make a beat in FL Studio. If you want to know how to make a full beat from scratch, you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula in my free course. This free course will take you from making your melody all the way to mastering your beat. Just click on the link in the description down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course in order to join. It's completely free, so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this free course because it won't be free and available forever. So join right now before it goes away. Now, earlier on, I asked you a question and I'm a man of my word so i'm going to give you the answer to that question like i promised earlier right now that question was what's the easiest way to lay out your patterns in the fl studio playlist now let's show you how that's done let's say we have our pattern here and we are making our full breadth of our beat in this pattern so we'll do all our melodies we'll do all our drums and that sort of stuff so let me just copy this midi to a few other things so you can kind of see what's going on okay let's say this is our pattern in order to get this on the playlist there are a few ways you can do this you can take the long way which is copy and pasting this into multiple different patterns and be like hey okay this is the pattern now and let's get rid of that and blah 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 and you can go down the list long don't do that the easiest way is to have your pattern come over here and right click and go to split by channel now what this does is it splits by channel as you can see and then you can hold down shift hold down left click and drag these patterns into the playlist like so and then you can arrange it however you want this is by far the easiest and quickest way to lay out your pattern and structure your B in FL Studio 20. Do you like that? I bet you do. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Or hit the like button if you can't be bothered to write anything. I know the vibes. Either way, helps me out in the algorithm, okay? Now, if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.